In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Dear brothers and sisters, welcome to this celebration of the Holy Eucharist on this Wednesday of Ordinary Time. But as you can see, I'm in red vestments because I've chosen to celebrate today the votive Mass in honor of all the Holy Apostles. And when you hear today's Gospel, you will probably see um, the connection as to why this Mass was chosen. Offering this Mass in a special way for all of you who are going to be attending this Mass throughout the day for you and your intentions. But I'm also offering this Mass in a special way for a young family at the moment. I'm going through some trials and so, um, to, to ask for God's blessings upon them and also for the prayers of the Holy Apostles during this difficult time. Also offering this Mass for the eternal repose of Carolina da Silva. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. May your church always exalt, O Lord, in the honor given through the ages to the blessed apostles, that she may be guided by these protectors, in whose teaching and merits she finds joy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Every word of God is unalloyed. He is the shield of those who take refuge in him. To his words make no addition, lest he reprove you and know you for a fraud. Two things I beg of you, do not grudge me them before I die. Keep falsehood and lies far from me. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Grant me only my share of bread to eat. For fear that, surrounded by plenty, I should fall away and say, The Lord? Who is the Lord? Or else in destitution, take to stealing and profane the name of my God. The Word of the Lord Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Keep me, Lord, from the way of error and teach me your law. The law from your mouth means more to me than silver and gold. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Your word, O Lord, forever stands firm in the heavens. I turn my feet from evil paths to obey your word. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. I gain understanding from your precepts, and so I hate false ways. Lies I hate and detest, but your law is my love. Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet. Alleluia, alleluia. The kingdom of God is near. Repent and believe the good news. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus called the twelve together and gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases and he sent them out to proclaim the kingdom of god and to heal he said to them take nothing for the journey neither staff nor haversack nor bread nor money and let none of you take a spare tunic whatever house you enter stay there and when you leave let it be from there as for those who do not welcome you when, you, when you leave their town, shake the dust from your feet as a sign to them. So they set out and went from village to village, proclaiming the good news and healing everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Pour out on us, Lord, your Holy Spirit, whom you poured in abundance upon the apostles, that we may recognize what you have given us through them, and duly offer the sacrifice of praise to your glory, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the twofold, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Charles our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servant Carolina, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, 
and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you wherever you may be. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant that we may persevere, O God, with rejoicing and simplicity of heart in the teaching of the apostles, in the breaking of the bread, and in the prayers through Christ our Lord. Dear friends, thank you for your prayerful company today during the celebration of the Eucharist. Let's continue to pray for each other and for the intentions that we have throughout the day. And may the blessing of God go with you. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord.